My Bible reading schedule takes me through 1 Kings 22, 2 Chronicles 18 and 19, and in Colossians chapter 4. And it's in that fourth chapter, a couple of verses that just really stood out to me in my reading. Uh, chapter 4, verses 2 and 3 say this, Continue earnestly in prayer, being vigilant in it with thanksgiving. Meanwhile, praying also for us that God would open to us a door for the word to speak to the mystery of Christ, for which I am also in chains. Well, the first thing that strikes me about this is uh, that prayer isn't optional. And that's something I think any one of us who knows the Lord uh, realize that prayer is important. But the tense of the verb here is in the imperative in the original language, which means it's a command, not optional. Again, so whether we pray or not, that's not an issue. That is settled. We are to pray. The question that arises then is, how are we to pray? Uh, and I think, again, the answer for us is clear. We are to be vigilant in prayer. I like uh, looked up the diction in the dictionary what vigilant mean. In English, the word means keeping careful watch for possible danger or difficulties. Boy, does that ever speak volumes to us. Keeping watch for danger or difficulties, possible danger or difficulties. Uh, the enemy of our soul, of course, does not want us to be involved in prayer because uh, we are when we pray, God hears and answers prayer. And so he would like us to not do that. Uh, I like what the Believer's Bible Commentary says. And by the way, if you don't have a good whole Bible commentary, I rec highly recommend the Believer's Bible Commentary. Boy, it just is a, an excellent resource for giving you a good overview of Scripture. And, and if you need some help and understanding, boy, that's a good, a good resource. At any rate, it talks about... Uh, that not only are to we continue earnestly in prayer, but we're also to be, again, vigilant in it, as we've already said. Uh, this immediately reminds us of the Lord Jesus' request to the disciples in the Garden of Gethsemane. Watch and pray, lest you enter into temptation. Uh, the disciples were not vigilant. They didn't heed what Jesus said and fell asleep, and, of course, entered into temptation. What was that temptation? Well, when the temptation came to... Uh, 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 stand up for Jesus. They were going to fight for Jesus. They were ready to do that. They, uh, Peter pulled out his sword and hacked off the guy's ear. Uh, of course, being a fisherman, he wasn't much of a swordsman, and he sure wasn't aiming for the guy's ear. Uh, but they fell prey to the temptation to try to bring about the kingdom, the, the heavenly kingdom, in an earthly manner because they had not been in prayer and waiting on the Lord. So not only were they, they uh, not only are we to watch and pray and fight against sleeping or a lack of diligence in our prayer time, but also against wandering thoughts, against listlessness, uh, uh, unreality, un, uh, unable to distinguish what is going on and to be able to discern, I guess I'm trying to say, the need for the prayer and all of those kinds of things. We're to watch to see that we are not robbed of our time in prayer. Uh, then again, our prayers are to be with thanksgiving. Not only are we to be thankful for past answers to prayer, but in faith we can also thank the Lord for prayers <laughs> that he has not answered. Sometimes we have not prayed according to the will of God, for sure. We've prayed for our own desires and things of that nature. So uh, prayers that are answered, prayers sometimes that are not answered, but, but to be vigilant in it. And you know, I know I'm not uh, re relaying something that is brand new here that nobody's ever thought of, but it is important that we remind ourselves of the importance of the things that God has said to us in his word. So I, my prayer today for each of you is that we together would be vigilant in our prayer time, waiting upon the Lord, trusting him so that we don't enter into temptation, but so that we walk according to the will of God, being the people that he's called us to be. Amen. I uh, encourage you to find a place to, to worship together with other brothers and sisters. As Hebrew writer says, don't forsake the assembling of yourselves together. And uh, important that we do that to share together in worshiping the Lord. Uh, it's, it's rehearsal for what's going to come when we get to be with Jesus. There's going to be a whole lot of worship going on. So practice today and worship the Lord. Amen. May the Lord richly bless you, I pray.